Hey everybody, I'm Axel, the Wonders Training Witch. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're all having a wonderful week so far. Today, I want to talk about my favorite other worlds, my favorite places to journey when I'm reading fantasy. And as always, I would love to chat with you guys about your favorites in the comments below. And if you could please do all the other things to please the algorithm gods, like, subscribe, ring that bell, I would vastly appreciate it. Otherwise, let's journey to the other worlds. Also a reminder, I am still hosting my wand design contest, so please send me in all your designs for wands and scepters for the character Oliver O'Lyric. He is the resident bard of the group. He is a Sagittarius born in the Year of the Tiger and specializes in earth and healing magic. That's all the information I'm going to give you on Oliver O'Lyric. If you need a face claim, I kind of think of him looking a little like Colin O'Donoghue, um, aka Captain Hook from Once Upon a Time. Sorry, not sorry about it. But you should enter this contest. It's going to be a lot of fun. Otherwise, have a good day, you guys. I love y'all. To start off this list, I want to mention the spirit world or spirit plane, whatever your story is going to call it. It's usually an in-between between, between uh, death and moving on. So they're stuck on Earth in this kind of usually it's like a parallel to earth or whatever planet the story takes place on often it's described as more like a grayscale uh, lonely parallel it's not all the, it's not the case in every story but in a lot of stories it seems like it's a more lonely place to be unless you have a community of other dead people to share that spirit plane with in which case it's still pretty sad but less lonely um, I do find it very fascinating because I myself believe in spirits and ghosts and all of those things. So to get other people's perspectives on how, one, they're stuck here, how they are living in their afterlife, all of that stuff really fascinates me. So I'm really always interested to read about fascinating takes on that subject. Number four on this list doesn't technically qualify as an other world, but it's my list, so I'm going to do what I want. And that's the criminal underground. If we get a character that is maybe like a half-assed criminal, or maybe they just were at the wrong place at the wrong time, and they're brought into the criminal underground, and we see all of the, the syndicate and, you know, like the organization of how all this crime is going down. I don't know why, but I am such a fan. The villain's code, it... it it brought me to a level of just really appreciating a good, thoroughly written out villain, and it's just glorious. So, again, I know it doesn't count as technically another world, but to a lot of characters and a lot of people, it would be a whole other world because most of us, I hope, aren't committing mass levels of crime on a daily basis. So, I just, again, I find it fascinating and I love to read about a good criminal network. Number three, if you couldn't tell, I like the point of your folk. And so the Fey Realm has always piqued my interest, more so that I've played more D&D &D and read things like the Dresden Files. Um, but just the fact that the environment has its own rules and things like that drives for a whole different kind of story. When we're based in a familiar world, we kind of are used to a certain set of physics and fundamental laws of nature but when you get into the fey realm you can toss most of that shit out the window because who knows what's gonna happen anything can happen and that's the beauty of it so i am super super interested in any kind of landscape um, that has kind of a personality or just causes shenanigans like the fey realm often does i'm a fan Number two, should surprise nobody, when I ask for a free ticket to hell, please, I want to join all of the adventures to the underworld. Give them all to me. If you have any recommendations, if you've ever held them out on me, this is the time to do so. Give them to me. I love a good trip to the underworld. I know it's weird. I know it's just, it, uh, but I love it. Like I said, with the whole spirit plane thing, I just find it super fascinating to dive into everyone's interpretations of what happens after death. 
not all the time is hell supposed to be this like horrific place so i really like when it's just like a place for spirits to kind of be processed or whatever have you again it doesn't always need to be this place of torture though it can be and i'm still a huge fan torture the fuck out of some bitches i'm i'm there for it i'm there for any kind of underworld all of the underworlds just just give them all to me that's all i ask number one on this list is the virtual world be it digimon or sword out online i'm a fan i know there's a billion things that could and probably would go wrong and i know that the this has been done to death with you know get ready player one and even back in the day spy kids and there's another one that's like sword art online and i cannot recall what it is at the moment but i know there's a similar one to sword art online so again i know it's been done to death but i fucking love it there's endless possibilities it's just wild i'm a nerd so like i just find it really fascinating if you were to thrust me in the legend of zelda or kingdom hearts or final fantasy I would, I'd be fine with that. I'm already stressed like everyone's mortal. If I gotta die facing a giant dragon with superpowers, I'd rather do that than pay taxes and, you know, do that. So, trust me in a video game. I'm good. So that's all I've got for you guys today. These are my favorite places to go journey when I read some fantasy. And as always, I would love to chat with you guys in the comments below. Until next week, spread all the love and joy you can. Bye.